Hey guys, so I got a lot of books with Barnes and Noble's gift cards and for Christmas. So this is a little book haul kind of to show you guys what books I've gotten. And also I can not find my tripod on my phone. So I'm balancing this on a Diet Coke bottle. And I'm watching Final Destination at, what time is it? You kind of want to know what time it is. At 10.50 at night. Okay, I just checked my laptop, so let's get started. Well, first off, I got this free book. Well, technically my mom got it because I don't know like we were at Barnes and Nobles and she was buying books and they just gave it to her so she gave it to me because I read more than her it's just it's a very cool reading journal and I hope to fill out a good portion of it in 2023 because I literally only read like seven books in 2022 everything so Let's get started. First, with the books I've gotten with a gift card. I still have money on this gift card. I didn't buy much, but I'm trying to figure out which, oh yeah, this is it. Okay, so this is, this is one of the books. I finally got this book. I've been wanting this book for so long and I sneak peeked at it. I don't know if my TV is too loud. But I sneak peeked at it and it just seems very good. I love Jeanette McCurdy. I've loved her since I was a kid and I've been wanting this book. <laughs> yeah, and I was with my mom when I bought it and she questioned nothing. So usually she questions things with weird titles like that. Okay, second one I bought was The Gravity of Missing Things by Marissa Ergo. Well, the thing that caught my attention was Flight 133 disappeared over the ocean. No wreckage, no distress signal, just gone. That is what caught my attention because that sounded like some, some like Bermuda Triangle stuff. Like, ooh, it's sort of supernatural. Like, like that caught my attention. And also the rest of the plot is very interesting. <laughs> and I guarantee it's going to be one of my first reads in January. So we're going to, in my legs. My legs just came into focus and I absolutely hate my legs. Um, so let's go into the books I actually did get for Christmas on Christmas Day. So, Love From Scratch, and if you guys know, I am obsessed with this cover. Not just because it's so pastel and colorful and it has macarons on it, but because the cartoon guy looks exactly like Jack McPhee in season two of Dawson's Creek. <laughs> I'm probably the only one who noticed that. Sorry, I keep turning to my TV. Oh, Kersmith. Sorry. I don't care how old he is at this point. I'm always going to have a crush on him. Um, Yeah, and Jack McPhee is played by Kersmith at that. It's interesting. <laughs> but Yeah, I'm actually currently reading it. I started it today. And it's... It's actually pretty good. I, I'm hoping to get, like, more into it. I only read, like, maybe three pages. Because I read it on... While my mom was driving to the grocery store today, so... I just threw a potato chip off my bed. Okay, this book... 
the boy I love to hate has been popping up on my Amazon recommendations for far too long <laughs> that I'm like, hey, I'm going to put it on my Christmas wish list. Because I'm, I love a good enemies to lovers. And yeah, it's just seemed really good. And it's been popping up on my Amazon recommendations. Also, indie authors, get your books in the recommendations because I see them and then I really do buy them. <laughs> because I don't know, I want Amazon too much for my own good. Also, my arm looks so thin right now and I'm pretty sure I gained so much weight from Christmas because awesome food. So I want to get more of her books, but I've been wanting to check out her books for a while and this is one that I felt would be a good start. It's The Summer of Lost Wishes and it's a nice beach read and yeah and I'm looking forward to reading it. I've been wanting to check out Nikki Charter. Is it Chartier or Charter? Um I'm so sorry if I butchered that name. Um I've been wanting to check out her books for a very long time and this one just seems like a good thin one to start off. And everything. It just it looked really good. Okay. Next is Trusting Blake by Estelle Maskane. I really hope I'm pronouncing that name right because I've because I've been a fan for like 10 years and I really hope I haven't butchered that name at all in that time. But Trusting Blake, this is one of her newest novels, I believe. And yeah, it came out in 2021. Um, and I'm someone, like, if I love an author, even if they wrote one book, after they write one book that I love, I have to collect every single book they wrote. So, soon you're going to see all her books on my bookshelf. Yeah, so I asked for that, just so I have to read, and I love this. This next one. Devin Salvo is looking at a plane, so ignore me. Ignore me, I love this movie. Um, this is a new book by Jennifer Gray called Out of the Corner. If you do not get that reference, we cannot be friends. <laughs> oh, I just, how did I just notice that Michael J. Fox and Jamie Lee Curtis both wrote reviews on the back. How did I just notice that? Anyway, um, I love her. I've seen a lot of her movies. And when I, and I remember when she first released this book, I'm like, oh, it's like, well, it's like $30, but like, I've been wanting to save up for it um and just purchase it on my own time I just couldn't purchase it right away so I put it on my Christmas wish list and I got it <laughs> uh not just because I wanted to save money I couldn't get it at the moment anyway the summer bat a lake city high high novel this was another book that was recommended to me on Amazon. And like I say, I buy novels that are recommended to me on Amazon for literally no reason other than they look good. Oh, I'm sorry, it has a smudge on it and I don't know how it got there. Yeah, anyway, it's the summer bet. I don't know if I said that. Yeah, and it has one of those, like, easy to read descriptions that, like, get you hooked. Like, like high school quarterback, Mr. All the Guys. I guess all the guys. <laughs> no, Mr. All the Girls Want Me. 
he's Mr. Popular. And then the girl is quiet brainiac who just wants high school to be over. Like, it's one of those easy to read descriptions. And I honestly love these. I do not write descriptions like this for my books at all. But I do appreciate them and I do love them, so. So that was another book that was recommended to me on Amazon. And I just realized that once I'm done with this video, I have to go put these books away on a shelf because I'm sitting on my bed and I don't feel like sleeping with them like 10 books so last but not least my sister and i got each other the exact same book for christmas and i did not even put it on my list i'm like i actually told my mom and then my mom didn't get it for me but my sister was like oh i thought you would like it and i'm, I'm like yeah actually she's like i know it wasn't on your list but But she got it for me, and I know that she wanted it, so so I got it for her. So we literally got each other the same gift. Um, it's the Prime Video cover for "It's Not Summer Without You." I actually have all of those books, and I am gonna get this in hardback because the hardback editions of these books are amazing. <laughs> Everything. Because this is just the cover. The hardback has like behind the scenes photos and a very cool dust jacket. But I do have all these books with their original cover. And I don't know why people don't like adaptation covers. Sometimes they honestly look better than the original cover and people are like oh they need to stop putting that on it i'm like i really don't care <laughs> and everything but but is it really summer without cousins beach so that's it's not summer without you by jenny han and i just think it looks really cute Alex is having his premonition that the plane is going to blow up, which is one of the best parts. And it's like seriously less than 15 minutes into the movie. Oh. Sorry, I keep turning to the screen. Anyway, that was my Christmas book haul. I look forward to reading all of these books in 2023. And tomorrow is Miley Cyrus's New Year's Eve party with Dolly Parton. So I'm going to be watching that. But I hope all of you have an amazing New Year and best of luck in 2023. And I hope to make more videos for a thing hopefully better edited. Maybe I'll start doing more edited videos instead of just making them just a sit-down video like this where I don't really edit. The plane is about to crash. And yeah, I hope you have a fantastic new year. Hope you had a fantastic Christmas. Remember, you are loved. You are worth it. And God bless. Bye, guys.